So with the year quickly coming to an end, there's a big question that needs to be answered. Will we be in our home this year? Welcome to the Life Uncontained Garage Sale, where you can buy an assortment of things that look like they've been to Burning Man. <laughs> That's stupid. So today we're going to be able to start getting all of our stuff into the container and hopefully get our yard cleaned up because it's a mess. <laughs> this is going to take a while. <laughs> This is it. Everything we own. Oh. oh, our wedding album. So weird going through all this stuff and just seeing everything that we haven't seen in so long. Yeah. Photo albums, all kinds of stuff. To be honest, a lot of our stuff is ruined. Just being up in the barn loft for years. We should have gotten a container another container probably from the get-go yeah store all the stuff in that but uh this was cheaper yeah. <laughs> 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 So we're not quite done with getting everything out of the barn, but we're going to pause on that for a little bit and just start the process of getting everything out of the house. Yeah, I'm very excited about getting everything out of there. It's just, it's it's been kind of a disaster zone. Yes. <laughs> very much looking forward to getting that place cleared out and uh, working towards getting insulation in the walls. Yeah, because that's the whole reason we're doing all this right now, all the cleaning up and clearing things out is because that needs to be done before we can do that. This is just part of the prep work. Yeah. How to make a small house feel bigger. Fill your small house with a ton of crap and then take the crap out then your house feels bigger. <laughs> it is a smaller room, but it's just funny because this small room is bigger than the entire cargo trailer that we live in right now. We could park it right inside. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad view, huh? Yeah, it's pretty nice. The house is now all cleared out, besides a couple things, you know, because we do use the house for doing laundry, that's where we make our videos, and in the master bedroom closet, we did keep some tools and building things that we're gonna be doing here in the very near future before spray foam or anything. But besides that, the house is cleared out and it looks so good. It's so crazy how different it looks without all the stuff in there. I 
Kyle, you, <laughs> you need to go, bud. <laughs> so with the year quickly coming to an end, there's a big question that needs to be answered. Will we be in our home this year? Well, there's no way our house is going to be completely done this year. When you take into account like everything from insulation, drywall, trim, cabinetry, uh, both the bathrooms done with all the tile work and everything like that. Floors. And then flooring and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. But we will be in the house because we'll be putting our mattress in there and sleeping in there. So yes. we'll have a little bit more comfortable environment to uh, rest our head at night. But that's the only thing that's moving in. The kitchen setup still gonna stay the same. Nothing else is gonna move in uh, until we're ready to move in. And the whole reason that this is even an option right now is just because we're almost done with everything inside the walls. So we're almost ready for spray foam and then we can start drywalling the areas for our mini splits and have those up there. So that's the only reason why we're doing this and why we didn't do it like last year, for example. Yeah, condensation is the main reason why we haven't moved in so far. Yeah. We're, we're living in metal boxes, so we need, <laughs> we need a pretty much a vapor barrier in between the living space and the container walls. Once we do that, our goal is to start working on a shower. Yes. Because right now, our shower is outside and it's getting pretty cold. So we need to get that fixed. It's nice in the summertime, but sucks when it starts to, those temperatures start to drop. Yeah, especially when it's windy. <laughs> I just saved Spencer's life. The number of brown recluses that we have seen while cleaning this barn, there's, there's been a lot. It's probably the main spider we've seen in here. Yeah, but there was just one on Spencer's back on his shirt and I knocked it off and I saved him. Seriously, good thing I noticed that. You owe me. Yeah. I saved your life. <laughs> Now that we're all done with this project, we're ready to continue finishing up ventilation and begin prepping for spray foam, getting so close to being able to stay in our home. But first, we needed to do something that has been long overdue. We went home. Since we don't go home often, we had to cram a lot into a short trip. Visiting family, a wedding, a beach trip, and a Halloween birthday party. Man, it feels so good to be home. I feel like everything looks so different. The trees have changed so much just in the time that we were gone. It's crazy. But today, what we're going to start working on is installing the ERV in the house, which an ERV is just an energy recovery ventilator. It just mechanically helps bring in fresh air and helps exhaust stale air from the house since our house is gonna be pretty airtight. I think he wants inside. <laughs> He's a little peeper through the blinds. <laughs> Look at him. So, how's all this supposed to work? You've done this before, right? Yes. <laughs> well, apparently this mega vent is gonna be on the outside of the wall. 
<laughs> on the outside of the wall out there. And um, the reason why it's so big is because it has one side is intake and one side is exhaust. So yeah, it's, this is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Before embarking on this ERV project, I gotta be honest, I wasn't totally sure how it was all gonna work out since our house is smaller, our wall cavities are a little bit smaller. So I wasn't totally sure how all of that was gonna work out with fitting everything within the walls. And then the, throw the shipping container corrugation into the mix. But what I think I'm gonna do is, uh, this is the outdoor vent for our ERV. One side is the uh, fresh air, the other side is the exhaust air. And what I'm going to be doing with this, because clearly it doesn't fit flush on the wall. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much make a bracket, a steel bracket that I'll have to weld onto the corrugation. I'm gonna have to cut out this size on the corrugation and then weld in that uh, flat bracket. But that'll be up there next to the roof. So it's gonna be a little fun, a little tricky. And oh, the other thing that's in the mix is uh, I'm in very confined space up there on the inside. So I'm gonna to have to notch my top plate. I'm gonna to have to notch the uh, top of the wall. I'm gonna to have to put some additional bracing in there. So this whole ventilation is it's kind of a challenge, but uh, I guess that's kind of the fun of it, figuring out how you're gonna make it work. I cannot believe how quickly temperatures are dropping. Like it is getting very cold here. <laughs> you can hear Spencer, he's over there working on building that metal box for the attachment point for the exterior ERV vent. And we need to try to hurry up and get that done and enjoy this weather outside right now because we have some rain on the forecast. So we need to try to get that done before it starts pouring.
That's uh, quite the contraption that you have over there that the welder's balancing on. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tower. <laughs> like how we uh, make things pretty and then I always come back through and screw it up. I know. My painting is just never done. <laughs> Getting to go to Florida to see family and friends was awesome, especially because we hadn't seen some of them since before we first moved out here, over three years ago. It was nice to take a break and have some quality time, but we are so happy to be back here and to be getting back on track. At the end of the day, there's no place I'd rather be than right here. This is home.